Hi, this is Zach Kolzer and Senior Editor. I'm at ADA 2015 in Washington, D.C. While I was here, I had a chance to catch up with Dr. Edward Rossimondo and talk to him a little bit about Crete. Hi, I'm Zach Kolzer and Senior Editor, and with me today is Edward Rossimondo, Dr. Edward Rossimondo, who is the President of Crete, and he is also a Professor of Craniofacial Sciences at the University of Connecticut. Dr. Rossimondo, how are you today? Thank you for inviting me, Zach. I'm feeling fine. I'm enjoying the ADA meeting. Yes. It's going well, and uh, it's kind of spread out, but uh, it keeps you moving. Get your exercise in for today. <laughs> there is a lot of ground to cover here, and I stopped you because I wanted to talk to you about Crete, which is a very, very interesting organization. We did a story on it with Apex 360, had a chance to go to University of Missouri, Kansas City. But for those who don't know, Tell us a little bit about what Crete is, how it's involved with the dental schools, and what people should know about it. Sure. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you about Crete. Crete is an organization that has been around since 2004, and in the 11 years, our uh, organization has grown. We are about 25 corporate members, and that includes both manufacturers and distributors. We are a nonprofit 501c3 organization, and our goal is to uh, integrate uh, new technologies, innovative and new technologies, into the dental schools. We were struck when the organization, when Crete was founded in 2004, uh, an issue was the dental schools were falling behind in the acquisition of new technologies, particularly the digital technologies. And part of that reason was they just didn't have the finances to keep up with the new developments. And also some of the faculty had to have training programs in the new technologies. Crete has come on and has dedicated itself to doing this and to introducing these new technologies into the dental schools. Right. And you guys had a board meeting yesterday where you kind of look at what's happened over the past year, set a course for the future. What did you guys talk about yesterday? Yes, it was a very profitable meeting. In fact, it's uh, one we meet once a year. And these meetings are characterized by a ex very, very active give and change amongst, give and take amongst the members. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we did discuss was to discuss our success. What was it that we thought we was responsible for our success. And I don't know, but I'll just refresh your viewers' memories. There is such a thing as a, a crowdsourcing, whereby a, a group of people get together on the internet and attempt to finance the project. So we've dubbed our effort in uh, ed education in, with the schools as Crete sourcing. And what it is is these uh, 25 or so organizations, uh, manufacturers and distributors, get together, pool their resources, identify a school that they wish to help out in terms of the acquisitions of these innovative technologies, and introduce them in a way that allows the school to acquire it at no cost to them and uh, to maintain the equipment, we repair the equipment, and we see to it that the equipment is always top notch for the schools. So this is a win-win for the schools. Yeah, absolutely, and you are in two universities right now, the University of Missouri, Kansas City, and then also Loma Linda in California. So, and I know at the board meeting they give reports, each of the universities, the directors of those programs give reports, and you, you set a course for the next year. Um, so. In 2016, what kind of things can we expect to see from Crete? Well, it's interesting that you ask because this was a very hot topic of discussion. We always have to deal with what are limited resources that we have and how we can leverage these resources. But on the other hand, we want to also try to anticipate trends things that are happening down the road for, uh, for the dental profession and for dental education in particular. And so we try to stay ahead. Uh, we try to have a strategic plan. One of the things that we're trying to focus on with regards to the next year or two is to market Crete a little bit more. We are not a household name yet within the dental academic community. Uh, we are looking to, into, to get a couple, Crete into several new schools in 2016. 
We did send out a letter to all the schools. Mm -hmm. We received inquiries back from about five or six. It was great, but we wanted to know why weren't 50 of the schools, <laughs> in fact, right. signing up. This is such a great deal with, for the schools. We should get 50 of the 62 schools all signing up. So we feel that we need to do a little bit of marketing. Unfortunately, we don't have that kind of a budget to go ahead and get enormous print ads or advertising. So we've gone the route of most, the best way, the first rule of marketing, get free advertising through the media. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why we're delighted you're doing this interview. Yes. The other things we're doing is what academics always do to get free uh, advertising participate in symposia. <laughs> Go to scientific symposia right. and present their materials. Now, we are in a position, given the success of the Loma Linda operation and the Kansas City operation, we are in a position to really make a pitch for Crete's success. This is not just some idle idea, some pie in the sky scheming of what we might want to do. We have actually demonstrated great success in doing this not only in the success in setting this kind of thing up, but success in maintaining a particular level of excellence within each of the schools. So one of the things that we accomplished last year was to solidify our supply chain because we provide supplies and materials for all the dental students in each of the senior classes in each school, and that amounts to about 200 students in each, there's 200 in each school. Mm -hmm. So we provide all the restorative materials, we provide all of the materials that are needed for these senior students to work on patients within the Innovation Center. We solidified that supply chain. We're now moving forward in terms of getting all of the reg regulations regarding maintenance set up. So what we want to do is go with another school. What we want to do is prioritize the no list of uh, schools that we have and go to on to another school as quickly as we can for a third school. Can we present all of this in a symposium? We think we can. Yeah. Where are we going to start? Where you might hope and guess, the Dental Trade Alliance. Okay. What better group? than the group of all the industry folks to go to them and to explain what we're doing and to recruit new members and to explain our Crete sourcing uh, financial support and get them on board. Great. Okay. Well, Dr. Rossimono, it was great catching up with you today. Have a great rest of your meeting and we can't wait to hear about what Crete, where Crete's going after this. Thank you very much, Zach. It's been a pleasure talking with great. you. Great, thank you.